Hey, hi, how are you? So the last fan showdown video, I was reading through the comment section and a lot of you guys have some great ideas on how we can improve the viewing experience of the fan showdown. And one that I seen repeated a whole bunch was how we mount the fan during the smoke test. Currently, just kind of sits in these helping hands and the smoke comes in and woo, just kind of goes, you know, wherever it wants. The fan sucks them in, blows them out, goes around it. It works. But a lot of you had a good idea that we should partition the fan off, make it more like it's mounted in a case and have a distinct intake side and an exhaust side. And I think it's a great idea. So that is what we're gonna try to do today. We're gonna try to improve the smoke test for future fan showdowns. The idea that I got is we're gonna take this piece of acrylic. It's kind of thin, came from the Home Deep, so they didn't really have much selection. Uh, I might have to order something thicker, but the idea here is I got these brackets I printed. They're gonna go on the side. And that is where we're gonna mount our fan. So we, there we got a distinct intake side, distinct exhaust side. You can still see through it. Should be pretty cool if it works. Also, I've seen a lot of people saying we should take the, uh, the bladeless and test it with more fans. Good news. I was sent an adapter that I haven't cleaned up yet, but this adapter allows us to use the bladeless with the regular 120 millimeter fan, meaning we can test it with the cheater. And a lot of you guys asked for that. So stick around for this, because that'll be fun. We'll play around with that later. I also took the, I took the cheater fan itself and I scaled the blades down and put them into a 80 millimeter hub. I would say increase the blade count. So we can see how that works. We do a lot of stuff. But let's start with this. Let's see if we can, we can do something here. So let's start by finding the center of this here sheet. Also, if you have any other great ideas, or recommendations for the fan channel, make sure to comment down below. I'll check them out for sure. Okay, there's where we want our fan. Good thing about being acrylic, we can see through it, except for the sticker. Perfect. Okay, so we're just gonna, well, we'll just freehand it. It doesn't need to be that perfect. We just need to show where we want to put holes. And we're also gonna have to find out a way to cut the center part out. Easy. Never shown such finesse. Uh, cutting this hole out might be a, might be annoying. And we got a hole. Am I proud of how we got here? Mm, no, I totally disrespected my soldering iron to make this. Oh, I'm sorry, soldering iron. Oh, don't breathe it in. But what are you gonna do? I was gonna use my jigsaw, but thin gauge, oh, Acrylic really likes to crack when you jigsaw it, so soldering iron it was. Anyway, we got a hole. Now let's mount our feet. Now, hey, we got a thing. Let's see, uh, see how she works. Woohoo, so staticky. Okay, we're gonna mount this guy. This is the, the cheater mod we did to the T33. It's pretty heavy. We'll see how it, uh, how it holds. Nice. I'm gonna say it turned out pretty good. This uh, this was definitely a good idea you guys had. And using this acrylic is like perfect. We get a good view down the side. From we're looking at the front, we can still see through it. It's holding up this T30 cheater pretty well. It's a little flimsy still. I might I might thicken it up if this is something you guys wanna see moving forward for the fan showdown, but I like it. If you have any more good ideas for how to improve the fan showdown, make sure to leave a comment down below. I'll be checking them out. But I guess the only thing left to do is to see exactly how good it looks in the smoke test. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy this little video. Hope we can make some more in the future. I'll see you next time.